A. Support the site. Become a member. As you know, Creative Novels is open to any author dedicated to promoting their craft. A lot of our novels are originals. And we love promoting said novels. There is one in particular I'd like for you all to take a gander at. It's called Heroes of the Past. Read a chapter or two. See if you like it. I hope you do. Please follow us on Twitter. Here. CreativeNovels.com approved only. Spread the love. Asterisk. 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 On the way back to the Huangmeng small town, Long Yi and his group heard many people talking about the fire class master Archmage Pu Ziasi. Many were discussing about the reason why Master Archmage Pu Ziasi came to the Huangmeng plains. The silhouette of Pu Ziasi lingered inside the heart of Long Yi. The terrifying strength that Pu Ziasi possessed, which caused more than a thousand magicians to lose their fighting capabilities, deeply shocked Long Yi. As Long Yi thought about what would happen if he were in Puxia Sia Euro trademark S shoes, he shook his head. Calculating the odds of himself stopping the battle between so many magicians, Long Yi was not too optimistic of his chances. After looking through several ancient books lying on the bookshelves inside his space ring, Long Yi knew why Pu Ziasi was able to instantly create a space which seemed to be without any magic elements. What Pu Ziasi did was to create a kind of magic domain. This domain was created with huge amounts of magic power and spirit power by the caster. Within this domain, with the exception of the domain caster, all other magic and duki will lose their efficacy, and the caster a euro trademark s power will be amplified several times. Not everyone who had attained the rank of master archmage would possess the ability to use the magic domain. It mainly depends on the word a euro a comprehend a euro. Till this day, out of the five master archmages, only two had the ability to use the magic domain. One was Fire Class Master Archmage Pu Ziasi, and the other was Light Pope Charles. Since there is a magic domain, a Duki domain naturally exists. The Violent Dragon Empire a Euro trademark S Sword Saint Murong Bo could use this Duki domain. However, as for which domain was stronger, it was still unknown. Long Yi was somewhat dejected, as there was an extremely big gap between himself and these top level experts. If he were to face more than a thousand magicians, then he had no other choice but to sneak away moreover it would seem like running away would prove to be rather difficult for him. Suddenly, Long Yi a Euro trademark SI lit up, he naturally didn't a Euro trademark T have any odds of success against more than a thousand magicians. But against Pu Ziasi, he might stand a chance. Although Duki and Magic would both be ineffective inside his magic domain, there was no restriction on his internal force. Since Long Yi was able to use his internal force inside Dragon City Euro trademark S Forbidden Heaven Prison, it should not be a problem in a magic domain. If he used Great Cosmos Shift, in addition to, Heaven Splitting Strike a Euro trademark S Top Level Palm Y Euro Void Splitting Palm, then he might really stand a chance against Pu Ziasi. But then again, who knows the true strength of a Master Archmage? Long Yi suddenly recalled the shock in Puxia Sia Euro trademark SIs before he left. Long Yi had thought that Pu Ziasi would look for him after the battle, however, contrary to this thoughts, Pu Ziasi merely sized him up for a while before vanishing from the battlefield. Early next morning, Long Yi and his group of eight adventurers began their journey as they set out for the boundless Huangmang Plain. According to the mark of H.A. Lea Euro trademark S map that was said to be passed down from his ancestors, Lost City was at the innermost east part of Huangmang Plain. En route, they had to cross a large area consisting of nothing but swamps and deserts. Which meant that they had to face various magical beasts along their way. Perhaps because of the big war between the Nalan and Proud Moon Empire a Euro trademark S magicians yesterday, there were very few people heading to the Huangmang Plain to do their missions. It certainly didn't a Euro trademark T seem like the rumors where hordes of adventurers would set out to the Huangmang Plain early in the morning, 
and that people could be seen everywhere in the plains. T. The outskirts regions of the Huangmang Plain basically did not Euro trademark T contain any danger as only low class magical beasts appear here. As such, Long Yi and his group had an easy time as they were chatting and laughing throughout their journey. Among the eight of them, fire magician Ji Lida seemed too unwilling to make friendly conversation with the others, light magician Lan Tian only spoke occasionally, the fierce-looking advance fighter Shi Yan was bad with words and looked like he was trying to listen to what the rest was talking about with a serious face. Hale and Barbarian Bull both possessed the loudest voice. The voices of these two came out like thunder as their saliva splattered everywhere as they were talking. Long Yi was humorously teasing El Yuzia throughout their journey which resulted in a joyous and harmonious atmosphere between the two of them. As for Lang Yuyu, she still had a stiff face. She merely spoke to El Yuzia in whispers occasionally and no one knew what they were talking about. Just like this, one day passed unknowingly. Long Yi and his group put up several tents lit a bonfire and sat around it while looking at several fire rabbits being roasted in that bonfire. All of them were shot dead by El Yuzia, which finally allowed Long Yi to observe a magic archer in action. The magic element changed into arrows, and its speed was very fast. Those fire rabbits did not even have time to react before being shot to death. A Euro El Long Yi, is the meat still not ready? I a Euro trademark am already starving to death a Euro L Uzia helplessly looked at the few pieces of meat roasted by the crackling fire which were releasing a dense fragrance. A Euro wait a moment, it is about to finish, you little cat, even your saliva is dripping out a Euro long ye said with a smile. At this moment the meat changed into gold color, as the fat from the meat began to drip on the ground. The sight of the glistening gold droplets of fire rabbit fat dripping. In addition to the fragrance emitted from the cooked meat, it would even tempt a celestial being. A Euro Ahotefel, big stupid bull is salivating even more than me A Euro El Uzia protested coquettishly while pointing towards Barbarian Bull. But Barbarian Bull was staring at the rabbit meat without even blinking his bull eyes, and swallowed a mouthful of saliva which appeared especially loud and clear in this quiet night. Very soon Long Yi quickly took out some seasonings and smeared it on the meat. The fragrance from the meat suddenly amplified which made it smell even more appetizing. This time all eight of them simultaneously swallowed their saliva. Altogether there were four fire rabbit, so each person was given half. Unable to hold themselves back after smelling the delicious meat, the eight of them immediately began to nibble at the meat. Barbarian Bull was the fastest, the half fire rabbit he was holding disappeared as he quickly shoved everything in his mouth. After swallowing, he smacked his lips and enviously stared at the meat everyone else was holding in their hands. Have to say that the meat quality of fire rabbit was very high and Long Yi Euro trademark s meat roasting skill was also very high, so it was extremely tasty. Even El Yuzia and Lang Yuyu, these two girls nibbled at their half of the roasted fire rabbit just like little children and left nothing behind. A Euro every delicious, Long Yi. Hereafter you are responsible to roast the meat for us to eat, okay, a Euro El Uzia purposed this proposal, and everyone immediately approved this unanimously. A Euro Earl right, a Euro seeing Long Yi was not answering her, El Uzia used a girl a Euro trademark s trump card of acting spoiled. Both of her hands held Long Yi a Euro trademark s arm and pressed his arm against her pair of. Long Yi immediately lift up his head, made a wry smile as he replied, a Euro well, of course, merely we should first resolve the trouble we are in A Euro. A Euro are at trouble? What trouble? A Euro just after El Uzia asked, suddenly her complexion changed, she abruptly stood up, and a dark green bow instantly appeared in her hand. At this moment the others finally sensed oppressive feeling in the air, as they all stood up and assumed their fighting posture instantly. Just a moment ago, Long Yi discovered that there was something wrong as the humming of insects disappeared suddenly. Probably because a powerful magical beast intruded in the area. The atmosphere of the surroundings became even more oppressive, and Long Yi and his group of eight were somewhat nervous. From the fluctuation coming from the beast, it was an understatement to say that this magical beast was a B-class magical beast. 
calling it a class magical beast was more appropriate. At this time, an almost transparent white eye appeared in the dark. Looking at the size of these eyes, this magical beast seemed very petite. Questions suddenly appeared in Long Yi Euro trademark's mind, A Euro Ri what is this magical beast? So strange A Euro. This unknown magical beast with white eyes approached closer and closer, and everyone also became more and more nervous. Finally after a short while, the appearance of this magical beast became visible under the moonlight. Long Yi discovered that this high-level magical beast was in fact a half-black half-white baby tiger. Its left half was pitch black and its right half was snowy white, one of its eyeball was white and other eyeball was black. Merely, that black-colored eye could na euro trademark t be clearly seen under the dim moonlight. A euro e what a lovely little tiger a euro Luzia exclaimed, as she set down her bow which had been aimed at the beast all along. Creativenovels.com approved only. A euro or ear you insane Luzia? It might be an A-class magical beast A Euro Hale anxiously roared, as no one could guarantee that this harmless-looking little tiger will not attack them. A Euro A come on, don't A Euro trademark T be too nervous, this little thing seems to have no ill intention towards us A Euro looking at that little tiger which was looking at them with curiosity, Long Yi said. It would already have attacked them if it was a ferocious magical beast. Shrugging its little nose, it looked towards the ground at those bones of the fire rabbits. Its little face revealed a happy expression which made it seem really cute. Long Yi understood why the little tiger had wandered over to them, it seemed like the fragrance of the roasted meat attracted this baby tiger over. A Euro a little tiger, come over here to sister A Euro Luzia squat down, then spread open her hands towards this little tiger. She obviously regarded this little tiger as a child as she called out to it like how she would a human child. The little tiger looked at Luzia for a while but did na euro trademark t respond, then its pair of tiger eyes landed on long yi a euro trademark s body and immediately showed an excited expression. After trotting past Luzia, it went to circle long yi twice before it suddenly lifted both its forelegs, placing its forelegs on long yi a euro trademark s lap. After that it stared at Long Yi with its one white and one black eyes, purring non-stop. Long Yi picked up this little tiger in confusion as he thought to himself, A Euro or Ethi's little tiger obviously has a B-class or even A-class magical beast aura. How could it behave so intimately with me, A Euro lifting his hand, Long Yi rubbed the little Tajera Euro trademark S head, and the little tiger purred twice with an comfortable look on its face. A Euro or I must have determined you as its mother A Euro Luzia jealously said. She didn't A Euro trademark T expect that this little tiger actually ignored her, and instead nested in the embrace of Long Yi. Long Yi asked with a smile, A Euro E does anyone know what magical beast is this, A Euro? Report this ad. Everyone shook their head in succession, before H A Lay said, A Euro E never seen or heard about this type of strange magical beast. And this type of magical beast is also not marked on the map A Euro. Henceforth, this little tiger became the ninth member of this adventurer's group. It had a very big appetite, every day, it would eat ten fire rabbits before it was contented. Everyone discovered that, other than this powerful aura, this little fellow basically did na Euro trademark T have any means of attack. However, thanks to the aura of an A class magical beast this little tiger was emitting, the other magical beasts would avoid their group. Long Yi, this Lazabones directly named this little tiger, Long 3 San equals 3. Long 2 ER equals 2 was naturally that blood red skeleton which held that blood colored sickle. From this day on, one human, one tiger and one skeleton became three brothers. Luzia seriously protested on the name of this little tiger, and privately named it by Jia Hay Black plus White. Sweat a Euro OE a Euro OE, but the little tiger was only fond of the name Long 3. Every time Long Yi yelled, A Euro a little 3, quickly roll over here a Euro it would immediately eagerly rush over to Long Yi and wag its tail.